Okay, everyone, welcome to a uh, another uh, random walk down Mill Street. Uh, this week's topic is Abarech et Shem Hashem. Um, and uh, the reason that I chose that title is because we're going to talk about a Bakasha uh, that is in the Western Sephardic liturgy called Abarech et Shem Hashem. Um, and the next words are Hane'ela Mikol uh, Nimsa. Who is uh, I will bless the name of the Lord, who is uh, hidden from all who try to find Him or all who look for Him, and uh, uh, and so this is a, a bakasha. Now bakashot in general, what we're going to talk about are a little bit uh, uh, fallen out of use, so that's why I call them hidden, uh, and so that's the topic for today. And I have to thank our uh, sponsors, who are who are the same sponsors as last week. Um, Rabbi, my uncle, Rabbi Harris Gedalia, my mother, Rose Gedalia Edinger, and uh, in memory of my grandparents, Judah and Selma Gedalia. Last Wednesday was the Nachala for my grandfather, Judah Gedalia. Today, at least for another uh, half hour or so, uh, is the Nachala of my grandmother, Selma, uh, and so uh, we remember them uh, today, and thank you for to our sponsors. Um, so we'll go right into it. So a number of months ago, I, I showed you a uh, document I found in the archives relating to the choir. Um, and let's just get this in the right space. Okay. Okay. And this is the, the document. I don't know how many of you remember it or not, or how many of you have seen it before. Uh, it is uh, a it's undated, but I believe that it was created in the very beginning of Leon Kramer's tenure here as choir master, which would have been 1883. Uh, I am not 100% sure, but I believe through some of the papers that were before and after it, which may or may not be related to this paper, uh, to have been created by uh, Alfred Lyons or Julius Lyons, who were the sons of Reverend Jacques Judah Lyons who was the Chazan at Sheriff from about 1840 until 1877. And uh, Julius Lyons was also the choir master for some period before Leon Kramer became the choir master. And I believe this paper is showing the new choir master, Leon Kramer, what the choir is supposed to sing. And this is over the ho Pesach holiday. So you'll see he has the uh, Shabbat Agadol, first and second day of Passover, Shabbat Cholamoed, seventh and eighth day of Passover, and then Shabbat Achrei Mot, which is just an ordinary Shabbat. Uh, and so he has, you know, uh, things that are sung and things that are not sung. Uh, so you'll have Hallel in the evening, which are not on the other days except for the first two days of Pesach, and then Hallel again on Pesach uh, and so forth. So different things. There are a lot of, lot of interesting things in this paper that I will probably come back to again another time. Uh, but some of the Melodies, they, the names, the way they describe the melodies are very interesting to me. So some of them are, I understand this because I'm a, I, you know, I'm a congregant here. And I know a lot of the chazanut. And so when I know when it says, mi chacham, uh, for the hallelujah on Pesach, I know that that refers to the uh, melody that is used for the, uh, that introduces the Kaddish at the end of the psalm. Uh, that's for Pesach. So I know that that's what is meant, just because, uh, you know, I'm familiar with the chazanut here. And there are other things that I can take some guesses at, but I'm not 100% sure. So here it says, it says, quick New York, quick New York. So exactly what quick New York is, I'm not 100% sure with certainty, but I am fairly confident that that refers to... Um, Oh, It's just a guess, but it's it's kind of a melody that that we do uh, in New York, a uh, festive melody all the time, and it's done, sung pretty quickly compared to the same melody that's known in Amsterdam, which is much much slower. Um, and then other things are pretty obvious. Az Yashir, we know the melody for Az Yashir, and they're using saying they're describing the melody for Baruch Haba as the Az Yashir melody, which we know. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai, berachnu chemi bet Adonai, el Adonai vaya er lanu. 
אז ישיר משה ובני ישראל את השירה הזאת לאדוני ויאמרו לאמור. So these are things that I know. Then there are things that I have no idea what they are, but I really, really want to know what they are. <laughs> Such as this description of an Adon Olam as Carvajo. Carvajo was a chazan in Charleston. He also spent a small, like a few years in New York in the early 19th century. Uh, and maybe that's, maybe that's the name of the composer. Maybe that's who it's referring to. Or maybe one of the other members of the Carvajo family. Don't know. Um, but, uh, but it's intriguing. And I don't know any other music that's described or named as a composer as Carvao. And I wonder if we still sing it. One of the melodies that we label traditional, maybe we can figure out who it was. Uh, but, I'm, but I can't figure it out from this paper anyway. Um, and then there are things that I just can't read. I don't know what this says. Literally, I can't figure out what it says. Um, I think this says ordinary. So that's a pretty nose. But then there are things that I know what they are and am still confused by. So one of them is this thing that says Abarech. I see it all the time, Abarech, Abarech, and you'll see it over here. There's another uh, uh, extra Abarech here. So you have a couple of times on this sheet telling that the choir is supposed to sing certain melodies to the, to the, to the tune of Abarech. One of them is the Kahal Kadish on the seventh day of Passover. It says extra Abarech, okay? Then there's an Enkel Okenu called for the, to the song to Abarech and an, an Adonolam to Abarech. Is that the same melody? I don't know. I presume so. It would be weird to have the same name with two different melodies, but it's a two different song. So I'm not really sure. That is, so that's what we're going to talk about tonight. What is Abarech? So to, uh, to understand what some of the names mean, others that might come up tonight, although we won't sing them, is uh, here. Every time it says Min HaMetzar, it says to use the melody for Kol Berue. Kol Berue. Kol Berue. Kol Berue. Every single time it says Min HaMetzar, to sing the melody Kol Berue. Okay, that, that might be a class for another time, but just take note of that, Kol Berue. Uh, let's see another one here, Adonai Boker, here in uh, Yigdal. Okay, that's another one. Um, and let's see if there's any more. Ki Eshmera, for Halalu. In the Halel, sing the melody Ki Eshmera. I want you to take note of these because these are all the names of certain poems in our liturgy called bakashot. And what are bakashot? So let's just take a look. So bakashot uh, are, I mean, literally it means uh, supplications or something like that. If you were to translate it into English um, or uh, requests or, you know, you're, you're, you're asking God for, uh, I don't know, you're, you're making a bakasha, bakashot they're called. Um, these are uh, poems uh, that are that have been sung for uh, since about 1580, 1590, 1570, somewhere in that late 16th century uh, era. They started uh, singing songs early in the morning before Shachrit, uh, and this started in Italy, uh, and it was kind of a it, parallel to or maybe in response to the same uh, fervor that was being uh, uh, developed in Tzfat, in the Kabbalistic circles of Yitzhak Luria, uh, in Tzfat, uh, where they were doing uh, Tikkun Chatzot. In Italy, they were doing uh, Bakashot in the early morning hours before, before um, Shachrit. So in Sfat, in Palestine, they were waking up at midnight and praying. And in Italy, they were waking up at, I don't know, four or five in the morning, an hour or two before Shachrit, and uh, singing some songs before the start of the regular prayers. And what were they singing? I don't have all of them. By the way, there are several different versions of what were sung in the Bakashot, and they change over time. But a lot of them are repeat. And so you have things like Kol Berue. I think we mentioned that earlier, right? Kol Berue. We had it by, in the choir sheet, it said, Min HaMetzar, to be sung to Kol Berue. So here it is. It's actually the first Bakasha in the prayer book of 1761 in Amsterdam. Kol Berue. Uh, and then you have other ones, Shachar Abakesha, Adon Olam, Yigdal, Ki Yeshmerah Shabbat. Uh, those are the uh, uh, Bakashot. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them that are supposed to be said early in the morning. And we don't do that anymore here in Sharath Israel. 
but we do have some bakashot sometimes. And the one that you're probably most familiar with is right here. It's bakasha le ta'ani kodem mincha. On a fast day, before we read mincha, we have a bakasha, and it's called shaman kodi. Shaman kodi asher yishman bekolot ve'ha'ela mekabel atifilot ve'ha'nose belife kegidolot that is sung every uh, at, at before mincha at the uh, every fast day. It's also sung before uh, uh, before kaladre, uh, which is interesting. But it's a special bakasha that we sing before the mincha prayer. Okay, so those are what bakashot are. Uh, we don't sing them anymore here. I, they used to be sung in Amsterdam. I'm not sure they ever were ever sung in New York. Actually, the truth, it's not in any of our printed prayer books. Uh, but they are in prayer books uh, found in Amsterdam and in London. Uh, but I don't think they're said there either. Maybe in Amsterdam, maybe on Shabbat morning, they might sing Migdal or Adon Olam or, or, one, or one or two of these. Uh, but certainly not the whole say there. Uh, let's see if anybody's on here. If anybody knows from Amsterdam or London, if, if they sing any Bakashot in the early morning before Shafrit, put it in the chat and let us know. Um, okay. So that is what. Um, Bakashot R. Now, going back to our question was, what was Abarech? <coughs> Abarech is one of the Bakashot. And, um, oh, here. Here, I, 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 I zeroed in on that sheet of paper, the different uh, Bakashot that are mentioned. And you have Abarech, Abarech, Abarech. It's happening all the time for the Kaddish, for Enkelokenu, for Adon Olam, and for Hallelu. Uh, and it's also mentioned as there's Two, there's more than one Abarech. There's Abarech and there's an extra Abarech. So I really wanted to zero in, and that's my question for today. Um, this was the earliest I found of the text of Abarech. Maybe it's earlier. It, we do not know the name of the author, um, but this is the text that I, I, and again, I didn't do an exhaustive search, uh, but I think this is the earliest, at least printed text. Uh, from around 1600, 1598 in Venice, um, from a prayer book uh, printed by Daniel Zanetti. Now, it's clearly older than this, but this is the first time I found it as part of the uh, these prayers that are sung before Shabbat. Most of these, like Adon Olam and are medieval. Uh, and so uh, perhaps this is older, or perhaps it's uh, early modern period, I don't know. But the first time you see it is in this uh, um, 1598. In, in uh, Venice. Venice, by the way, is a Western Sephardic community, so uh, the fact that it was part of the Sephardic Bakashot is not a surprise. Okay, so we may not sing it, but we still know the melody. And uh, Bram Cardozo, of blessed memory, our late great Chazan, included two different tunes, and he even writes there, Abarech is sung in Holland, he doesn't tell you when. He says there are at least two different tunes for this hymn, Poem appears in prayer books around 1600, and its, its composer is not known. So that's about all I, I know either. Uh, but we have two different melodies uh, that I'm going to play for you. Uh, both are brought down by Bram Cardozo. The first recording we're going to play for you is, is, is uh, Reverend Cardozo, and the other one is from uh, Solomon uh, Rodriguez Pereira, the Chacham of Amsterdam. So here, listen, listen to uh, uh, Reverend Cardozo. Here we go. Let's make, let's make sure you can. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear it, okay? Abarech et shem hamonai Aning elam ikol nimtza Vakave chasdo kol yamai Al kol tov asher nasa So that's the first melody. Um, it's kind of simple. And here is a second melody. And if any, again, if anyone here is from Amsterdam, I'll have to ask any somebody, it's all in the PS, when they use one melody versus the other. Uh, but this is the Chacham, uh, uh, Shalomo Rodriguez Pereira. <laughs> Oh, 
Now, I don't know if they say Abareich in the synagogue in Amsterdam anymore, but many of the Bakashot um, have become or can be sung as table songs on Shabbat or other occasions, and that is frequently what we do. So um, I think Yom Zel Yisrael or Kiesh Mera Shabbat and uh, many of the other Bakashot found their way to uh, being table songs uh, in our homes. Ah, Annette has figured out where we're going. <laughs> Annette has figured out where we're going on this, uh, this entire class. So we're going to save that comment for the next slide or two. That's <laughs> okay, Annette. <laughs> I promise there'll be other things. I hope that you'll, will surprise you a little bit, but you have a good ear, so we'll see. Um, by the way, this uh, picture is of Bram Cardozo. I don't know if Mark is on. He was on last week, but this is our good friend, Mark Aaron, and Arthur Goldberg at Mark Aaron's Bar Mitzvah. And so I thank him for He shared this picture with, with me uh, a couple of years ago in the beginning of the pandemic. And so I hope he doesn't mind that I reused it. I thought it was great. Um, okay, let's let's see what where we can hear this melody somewhere else. Let's see. Okay, this is a man named Yitzchak or Isaac Levy or Levy, who was a pretty famous Ladino singer uh, in Israel. Uh, and uh, I mean, I think he was born in North Africa. I'm not 100% sure where he was born, uh, but he was a Ladino uh, singer. And uh, he has some very famous recordings in the 1950s. And on one of his albums was this Adon Olam, which you may recognize, Annette and everyone else. Lost the video, so I might as well stop it there. But you get the same, you get the sense there that the same melody that we heard from Abarech is used for Adon Olam. So if perhaps when we go back, oops, not that. We go back to our listing when it has Adon Olam and Abarech. Maybe that's the melody. Perhaps. Let's see what else. What else could it be? We'll find out. Okay, so there is another melody for Abarech, and uh, I'm going to play it for you now. This is uh, taken from the, uh, the book Ancient Melodies of the Spanish and Portuguese Jews 
also sometimes was reprinted in the 1930s under the title Sephardi Melodies. Um, and this was first published, I think, in around 1840. I'm not sure, pretty early, uh, maybe 1850, 1840. And uh, it was a joint uh, effort by um, David, Abraham, uh, David Aaron de Sola and, uh, uh, his, and his choir master, whose name was Aguilar. Um, de Sola wrote the history, or de Sola wrote the translations, de Sola wrote the notes, Aguilar did the transcription. And um, he has here a melody for Abarech. Uh, and our friend, uh, the uh, former choir master from uh, Lauderdale Road in London, whose name is Elliot Alderman, uh, actually has a website uh, for the Lauderdale Road community uh, where he has recordings of some of the bakashot. And one of them is Abarech. And this is the melody. For those of you who don't read the music, or even for those of you who do, this is what it is. Abarech et Shem Adonai Anenglam Mikol Nimza Vaakavech Asto Kol Yamai Al Kol Tub Asher Nasa Al kol tu basher ngasa na. Goes on from there, but that's uh, that's the other melody, the alternate melody. So we have two different melodies. Actually, through now we have three different melodies for this one bakasha abarech. The first one was we heard we heard Brahm sing. The second one we heard Chacham uh, Pereira sing, and here we heard Elliot Alderman sing. Uh, and again, I'm not sure what melody is being used for. Don Alam or Enkel Kenu or the Kahal Kadish in the choir uh, sheet uh, from uh, the 1880s of Sharath Israel. Now, our own Chazan, uh, Rabbi Ira Road, likes this melody a lot. And at festive occasions, he will pull out his accordion and sing it. Um, and a few years ago, by now it's probably 10 or 15 years ago, he actually um, wrote some accompaniment, period style accompaniment for this melody. And so we'll play it for you here. I think that's my next slide. Yeah, with the whole translation. And so we'll just listen to it. He does uh, three out of all these stands, he does three of them. Uh, so we'll listen to the whole thing. This will be one time through. So all the rest of them are just snips. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, man. 
that is the uh, Abarech, and we have now heard three different melodies for it. Um, there's actually a fourth melody on the uh, uh, website of the uh, Seder Chazanut of the Portuguese community. It's a website maintained by uh, a man named Yap Sondervan. It's a really wonderful website. I've used it a lot, especially preparing for these classes. Uh, so there they have a, a recording of um, uh, Chazan Nabarro, who sings the same Abarech words to the tune that we know for Torot El. Uh, and so uh, I, I didn't include that because uh, I, I don't actually think it, I, th I think Toto del Melody is for Toto del, and that was adopted into Abarek. I I'm, can't prove it, but I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Thank you, Annette. Now, Annette, did you notice that one? Now, let's see if you remember where that's from. Let's take a look at our next page. If you uh, weren't sure where you've heard that before, here you go. So um, yeah, the uh, this melody for Abarech, uh, if I can get back to it, um, we use here at Sharet Israel for Yehi uh, Chastecha, which is what we read before we before Ashrei, after the reading of the Torah, before we turn the Torah to the Hechal, we sing this song Yehi Chastecha, and this is the melody that's being used. Uh, by the way, if you go back to that uh, choir sheet, um, you may notice that lists a lot of things that the choir sings, but none of the things that we are used to being the bread and butter of the choir, meaning the whole Torah service is not listed here. Here, this is all from the evening, this is the morning, um, Nishmat, Makalo, this is uh, uh, in the Shachrit, Yirach Arasha, Hallelujah, this is from the Hallel. Um, maybe here, Mizmor Yimloch, Mizmor David. I mean, that's that's about, you know, it's just a little note saying you have to return the Torah and take out the Torah and so the choir sings here. But none of those uh, things are part of this sheet. They assume that, that maybe that's because the choir master had free reign to choose what he wants. I don't know. Uh, but uh, all these other things that are listed here are the tunes that were used in the 1880s for the various parts exclusive of the Torah service. So the Hichas is from the Torah service. It also uses this, what I'm going to call the, the Abarech melody C, right? Abarech Melody A was Ram Cardozo's. Abarech Melody B was this one um, that we know from Adon Olam. And Abarech Melody C is this Yihi Chastecha Melody. Now, uh, I am still unsure which melody was used for Adon Olam or what is meant by Abarech or the extra Abarech in those choir sheets because not only do we in our synagogue have the tradition of singing Adon Olam to that melody uh, that we heard that we'll call the uh, Abarech B, we also have it to this melody. Now, this man here on the, on the left is Leon El Male, who was a chazan in Philadelphia's Mikveh Israel, who before going to Mikveh Israel was the chazan or was the shofar, uh, the the um, uh, the tokeang uh, here in New York in the late 19th century. So uh, from 1897 to 1899. And he went to Philadelphia and became the Chazan there. And uh, he was from Gibraltar originally. 
and uh, became a Chazan uh, in Philadelphia. And he was in Philadelphia until his death and, you know, around 1970, he had a very, very long career. And he had, li- had a long life. And so he made recordings towards the end of his life, which are an invaluable uh, source of what things sounded like in the 19th century. Uh, and so he has, and one of the many Adon Olams that he records is this one. So, at the end of the day, what's the uh, what's the takeaway here? Abarech Hashem Hashem Aneelam Mikol Nimsa is a bakasha that we no longer say in our liturgy here in Sheriff Israel. I'm not sure it's said uh, in London or Amsterdam or any other Spanish Portuguese communities anymore, but a remnant of it still exists in Yichasecha and in Adon Olam. Exactly which melody was being sung here in the 19th century? I don't know. Was it that one? Adon Olam Asher Mala. Or was it this one that we sing all the time? That's uh, that's basically my uh, presentation for you tonight. I have to leave it with a little bit of a mystery, since I don't actually know the answer to my question, which is what melody is meant by Abare here. But we have a better idea than we did before. It's probably one of these three that we listen to, or perhaps even a fourth. Um, so thank you very much. Love the mask. So that uh, uh, Dina, that that recording, that uh, video came from last year. The first time the choir came back during the pandemic, after having not sung for an entire year, uh, was Shavuot of last year. So now it's a little more than a year ago. And uh, they had a rehearsal and we held it outside and everyone wore masks. And that was the very first time the choir got back together during the pandemic. So it's kind of a, it was like an emotional time for them. uh, First time singing again. And that was one of the things that they recorded. So uh, thank you everybody. I'm gonna end the recording here and uh, ask everyone to unmute. Here, stop share. And here it is. Stop the recording.